Have you ever wondered how does pre-reveal work in an NFT smart contract? How do you show something before reveal and then reveal it and then show something else? GM, 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 what's up clubbers and welcome to Web3 Club. In today's video, what we're going to learn is how do we create the pre-reveal functionality in our NFT smart contract. Now I've already done a video on this, but in today's video, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to make it much more easier to understand what's going on. This was a direct request from somebody on my Discord server. So if you also have a direct request, please let me know either in the YouTube comments or in my Discord server. It would really help me out if you could just give a minute to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you want to sponsor a video, please send me an email. My email address is in the about section of my YouTube profile. I try to upload a new video every week and I really, really try that I answer a specific question somebody has asked. So don't hold back. Just let me know in the YouTube comments or in my Discord server. All right, with that said and that out of the way, let's get started firstly i'm going to assume that you know what are what is an nft what are nft metadata and how does the whole thing actually work like if you deploy an nft smart contract what does it do so if you don't know what all of those things are please let me know in the youtube comments down below i'll probably link to a youtube video of mine which explains all of those things but yeah if you do understand all of these things now it's very easy to just get started so I have already created the metadata that you can see over here, which has an image name and a description. So this is what the image looks like. It's like a pre reveal for an MF MFR collection that I frequently use on this channel. So this is what the pre revealed collection items will look like. And after the reveal is done, we will simply swap these with the correct NFT data. So you can see this was the image. We also have a name called pre revealed MFRs and description which is these are pre-revealed mfrs for the web3 club video back to one of my favorite tools the open zeppelin wizard so i've selected erc721 over here and i'm giving the name of the token as pre-revealed tokens and just prt for the symbol i've made the nft collection mintable and auto increments the id uh, let me just add a base URI as well because this is something that I will use later on. Alright, I think I'm pretty much happy with this. Now I can click on open in Remix. Once this thing opens in Remix, I'm going to go here and let me just increase the font size first. Yeah, I'm going to go here in the compiler section and click on auto compile so that it keeps giving us feedback. Alright, now that we have the base URI, uh, one thing that you need to understand is that uh, whenever you want to get the metadata for a specific nft what we do is we query the token uri method on the smart contract so let's just go ahead and define that method in our pre-revealed token smart contract so this is what that function looks like yeah, the name of the function is token uri and it expects a u in 256 parameter basically with the name token id uh, this needs to be public and it needs to be of the type view uh, it's a virtual function and it, we are overriding this function because this was already defined in the erc721.sol. If you go to that file, uh, just to go to go there, you know, just press command or control, I guess, on Windows and then uh, click on this. So it opens that, right? Once the compilation is done. Over here, you just search for token, URI, and then you will find the function that you can just copy and paste in your smart contract so now that we have we are here the first thing that we need to understand is whether the function has been revealed all right whether the smart contract has been revealed the nft collection has been revealed all right so to do that i'll create a new boolean which will be public uh, with the named uh let's say is revealed all right and it will be false at the start so if is revealed if you know the nft collection has been revealed what we simply do is we call super dot token uri with the token id all right i mean if it is revealed we will just let the main implementation handle this we will basically return this token uri now what if it is not yet revealed so if it is not yet revealed we want to return this value all right so uh, to do that, what we can do is simply write return this in case, you know, it is not revealed or we can put this in 
a variable all right so to put this into a variable what we'll do is we'll write string uh, pre revealed uri equals let's say this all right or what we can do is get this data from the constructor itself now that we have that pre revealed uri present we need to create a function to set this pre revealed uri so to create that function what we'll do is write function i made a mistake in the video which i've uh, corrected in the gist in the code um, so basically instead of the pre revealed uri that i'm returning in the video i'm directly returning the value uh, so make sure that you change that value to the variable so that you return the pre revealed uri the variable instead of returning the value set pre revealed uri all right which will be a string memory and it will take underscore pre revealed now this function itself uh, will be an external function and nothing else we don't need anything else so once we get this function called uh, we will write pre revealed uri equals underscore pre revealed uri one more thing that we need to add over here is the only owner thing otherwise anybody can set the pre revealed uri all right so now that we have these two things we can simply move forward now the problem with this is that let's say we are going to return the mfers metadata so that metadata will basically look like this um, sorry this so this is the mfers metadata now if you just go ahead with this the problem is even though it is pre-revealed and token uri will not return the correct value for that nft you know asset or item or whatever token id people who can read this code will figure out that the base uri is this so they can essentially find out uh, which is the like which nft is it corresponding to so they can just before others understand that this is let's say an alien nft and this is a normal nft and whatnot so instead of that what we do is uh, we create another variable so the name of that variable will be string base uri and that base uri let's say initially is set to nothing and then we return the value of base uri over here and now to make this work we need to remove this pure thing over here because this is not a pure function and is actually a view function all right so now that we have this we also will require a new function and the name of function is uh, reveal and set base uri all right so this will be string memory uh, base uri underscore now the underscore is at the end because we have already used underscore base uri and the base uri so this will be again an external function which only the owner can call and whenever it is called we essentially want to set is revealed to true and the base uri to equal base uri underscore all right and that is mostly it this is what you need to do to set the correct pre-revealed uri uh, so let's say that we have already compiled this let's go ahead and test this out in our browser let me increase the font size a bit and let me just deploy this so once the deployment succeeds you can see that we can go ahead and mint a few nfts for ourselves so let's say i'm minting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so i minted 10 nfts for myself uh, now if i go for token uri for the zeroth nft you'll see that it is returning us this value jsonkeeper.com slash b slash s 0 g which is this value and if you know somebody goes there and figures out what is the metadata you they'll basically see this similarly for uh, token uri 2 we get this again token uri 3 we get this again now is the time for us to let's say reveal this so to reveal what we will end up doing is go here and write and click here and basically reveal and set base uri we paste this over here and click transact so once the transaction completes this time the token uri 3 will change and give me this value and now if i want to open this value i'll just go here and write ipfs dot io slash ipfs slash this and then paste it uh, this time i will get the mfers metadata all right so let me just copy the image and paste it over here to show you what the image will look like and this is what the image will look like all right so uh, 
this is how you do the reveal thing now if you want to see this on openc you can directly copy paste the code try it out i've already shown this before and it's definitely going to work so i'm not going to show it but it's a very simple thing you just deploy this on openc let's say on a testnet see if it runs and if it does run let me know in the youtube comments and if it doesn't run again let me know in the youtube comments and i'll see what happened and that is basically it this is the very simple code that you basically need to understand to create the revealed functionality now of course you can combine this with other types of functionality like uh, taking payments over here in the safe mint or some something like something else and then you know move forward with it thank you so much for watching the video till now if you like this video please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't if you have any suggestions for what video i should make next please let me know in the youtube comments down below if you want to contact me for some sort of consultation or sponsorships my email address is in the about section of my youtube profile and if you have a specific question which requires a lot of back and forth come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out i hope to see you again next week till then bye bye